have this sort of uh, linear thinking coming out from Lopez and Gabriel on the deck stance brands. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it gives. I don't think it does anything for the axe, but I might be doing something for the spin or maybe, or sorry, the spear, or maybe it makes that spear downlight neutral sig that we were seeing Fiend do when he was on the Brin a little bit more consistent. But right now, Trick getting a lot of damage built up onto Gabriel. And again, I, you know it's a trick game because that down signature came out yeah, very early it on immediately. In this. Neutral sigs coming out from Lopez as well. Both of those players on the blue team know exactly where that heavy button is. Yeah, I mean, they recognize immediately the red team already in that kill percent. So one good heavy button, and it could be the stock pot. He's in position, but no, he backs away. Not recognizing that is he needs to save the teammate, either get the hit so the teammate can chase dodge or scoop him up with that hammer. Team combo goes for the Mafia mid combo, and Gabriel can get out of that one. He could have been worried about both members of the blue team over there because it wouldn't take much to KO him there on the edge. They ended up finding it anyway. Yo, Woo! this is a great way to answer back. Immediately nullifying the stock lead that the blue team had. If Gabriel plays just a little bit more carefully and doesn't take too much damage, they're in such a good spot here. That was such a clean team combo. I was not sure where he was going. I thought he was going to go just for a GC down sig off of the side air from Gabriel, but instead the extension into the vertical for the GC end sig from Gabriel, that was clean from the red team. Hi, also finding some damage on a both members. Oh, it doesn't actually grab and pull down below. Unfortunately for Trick, that could have been a huge KO. Lopez is going to fall here, even though the health is definitely favoring the blue team. Red team might be able to turn this around quickly. Yeah, I mean, showing that zero to death that the red team can do, all they need to do now is just take out Lopez. Like, that could be their end goal, which is a really nice goal if they can get it. But Gabriel on this right side goes for a kind of risky ground pound there, but could go for the unarm. Goes for the down light. Lopez, he's going to get taken out, and now we're in team combo territory. I think maybe Lopez is just feeling a little bit too confident going into this because they played really well earlier. Uh, he's alongside Trick. They've both been playing lights out so far today. Lopez has been doing a ton of damage so far today, but still they might have been underestimating Pahe and Gabriel. I can't believe that was so close yeah, to hitting. That, that dodge came through across. absolutely where it needed to. That seemed like a heat-seeking weapon toss. Trick gonna burn the dodge there on the GC taunt. Kind of a risky option, but Red Team not gonna take the bait. Instead, Trick able to get back up safely. All they need is one. Okay, the recovery will do it. And now they're going to be looking for the setup. I expect Gabriel to throw this away. Look for the spear. Yep. And now it's team combo. That's the goal. Deny weapons. Okay. You Trick see really tricks. Not Afraid Fame to burn to the these dodges whatsoever. You saw him do the taunt on the left side. You saw a GC side light on the right. Another taunt. He's, he's looking to bait them into this, and they're not having it. Yeah. They're like, we don't, we don't need to do anything crazy. We have center stage. We have weapon control. We have everything playing in our favor. We don't need to go for anything crazy off stage. We just need Trick to slip up once, and a team combo will win us this game. Which is a good way to look at this. They can look at this and say, it doesn't matter how long this takes, because we are in the better position here. He has to put himself in a bad position that we can capitalize on. He is starting to get some good hits. A good chase dodge to avoid the follow-up. But trades are going to be in the red team's favor, of course. Gabriel, the more damaged if Gabriel gets taken out, then it's going to be Pahe versus Trick in the 1v1. Ooh. And the down sig will take out. This is that 1v1. Where's the GC taunt? There it is. Pahe's not going to fall for it. Even before, like, the first one he threw out, all Pahe did was throw a weapon. Very safe option. He's going to wait for the landing. Oh, kind of flubbed the punishment Ooh, yeah. on the landing there. I think he slipped off stage with that one. Trick going to get up. Has the hammer. One there. Needs a little more. Staying away from that corner. Not going to get caught in one of Trick's neutral airs. Have to worry about the GCD sig that Trick might Tricky use toss. to cover some ground quickly. By sticking with the hammer. Going to be a more reliable KO oh, oh. option. Was that it? Was that true? No, it was yeah. very not true. <laughs> that was that's like the longest moment between a stomp and a dare that I've ever seen in my entire life. That felt like 400 hours.
I panicked there because it seemed like like he didn't hit it in the very obvious like go for the side air spot like that was a little too stacked so you saw him go for the reaction dare but he didn't even do the turnaround dare which is usually what you go for when you get it stacked up like that but trick just didn't react trick was expecting to get caught knew that it was over and that's going to be game one in the books lopez making the swap over to the barraza now, even though we did see that kind of slight mistake with not re uh, turning around that dare, not pivoting that to scoop from the back first to find that true KO option, Pahe still played that with a pretty strong mental. You didn't see him falling for those bait options. There was a little bit of team damage that came out between Gabriel and Pahe. Of course, Gabriel, uh, I think he chase dodged through and ended up getting hit by like the backside of Trick's D-Sig. So a couple little mistakes there, but still the mentality of how to play that final fight for the red team was strong. And even when I, Pahe's teammate got taken out, if it was me, I would have panicked. I would have been scared. But yeah. Pahe played a cool head. I think they played that that 2v1 uh, about as well as you could. I mean, like, yeah, there was a little mistake, but that's kind of what is accounted for when they play it so safe, staying on stage, not falling for those baits. We'll see how the swap over to the Barasa does for Lopez, though, as we're here in game number two. Gabriel with the spear in hand, Pahe with the hammer, not able to get any stumps as the down sig launches Pahe into the down air of Lopez. Recovery comes out from Lopez. Even with all the strength of Barraza, Pahe was still in the orange, so not going to be the KO off the top. Stomp Sider, both blue team members on the right side, but the red team going to back off a little bit. And the first stock goes the way of the blue team with that side air and the follow-up. Oh, you saw Trick try to go for the GC neutral heavy, but Lopez still finds the recovery for the knockout. Now, normally, my small brain would say, like, when I saw that coming, that Trick just, just let him get the recovery, and that would be the KO. But Trick knew that it wasn't going to KO directly on its own, so he had to find the gravity cancel neutral heavy for that to oh, immediately lead to the KO. Tough drop from Gabriel, though, to miss that downlight side air. Good recognition from Trick. Again, this is one of those higher ceiling maps, so uh, just that extra hit, if it works, could lead to those knockouts a little bit earlier. Gabriel looking for ground pounds on the right side, gonna back off of this one as Lopez still sitting on that first stock. And Gabriel and Pahe both oh, backing so up high. completely stacked from one another. Signature coming out from Lopez. Pahe trying to swing as best as he can. Oh, just barely misses the GC neutral light. That could have actually led to the KO, but no, Lopez is still going to survive. Grabs the weapon right out from underneath. Gabriel goes for the D-Sig, backs up, picks up the recovery. Gabriel almost knocked out again. Finally finishing off the first stock of Lopez with an X neutral light from the left side of the stage. Stock count is just mathematically even, but man, the health is in favor of the blue team. Oh, opportunity. Good dodge. Pai's been sitting on the wall for a while. He went at it with Trick, Hammer, B, Hammer, and then Lopez rotated over. Unfortunately, Pahe wasn't able to find oh no, anything to oh KO no. that would have kept them more in this game. We see four stocks to three. Pahe might be taken out soon. You see how far that recovery sent. The unarmed recovery from that down low almost sent Pahe off screen. Big side air, but an immediate answer. Keeps the blue team heavily in the lead. With how much health is left on Lopez, I think the game plan has to be for the red team to take out Trick. Try not to take too much damage on it and then play for that team combo. You they see Gabriel. To... Sorry, go you ahead. Go. Oh, he was doing the downlight and he chase dodged away to avoid the potential punish from Lopez because Lopez was right behind him. But uh, they're finding some good damage onto Lopez here, but they can't just let Lopez run around and do his own thing while they focus on Trick because Lopez has found so many axe side airs to find the KOs that they need. Pahe very deep in the red, a little bit of a uh, point blank weapon toss. That D Sig from Trick does not find purchase here. Everybody does have a weapon as Lopez comes in and grabs an axe. Good punish from Lopez. Pahe just trying to make himself present with that weapon toss. Knows he's behind, but the down sig will immediately take him out. And it's all left to Gabriel as he gets taken out by the slide charge neutral sig. Trick went for that once before and didn't find a hit with it, but that time he nailed it. Got a very early KO. Even though Trick only put out 398 damage, you can see from that final KO that when he wanted to, he could find those KOs. Even if they were a little bit cheeky, he was finding solid KOs while his teammate was also putting out damage. Trick and Lopez looking so good today. This Barraza swap, man, I'm loving Lopez's axe. Yeah, that was a really good swap. He was getting a lot of things like 
I guess Barraza, not the most known uh, legend as far as the Axe Legends go, because he was hitting some stuff that I think if you knew the matchup, you wouldn't have gotten caught by it. Like that one Axe side signature uh, caught Gabriel for the knockout really early on. Going into this game, it is game three, one weapon apiece. Lopez is going to be grabbing the axe first time around. Trick, the first one, or the oh. only one to not grab a weapon kind of right off the bat, does have the gauntlets in hand. Yeah, but Lopez was immediately putting the hurt on Pahe. Even had those stars come out, stuffing a, a hammer recovery attempt for Pahe. Fortunately, he was able to get back up with the help of Gabriel, but he's still taking a little bit more damage. That gauntlet oh. ground pound in the second one. Blue team looking good. This team is combo. bad for red. What? Oh, Whoa. man. <sighs> Even with a little bit of flub from Trick. Oh, and Lopez almost picked up the recovery there and ended up getting stumped. He still might find the KO. Lopez is absolutely nasty. 40 seconds into this game, he has done so much work. And that whole team combo that Lopez and Trick was doing, that had to have been improv. The way Lopez was moving around, the dash off stage to go for the GC sideline in position, like that's just good recognition and then raw improv on the team combo. Lopez is doing so much damage. He is doing so much off. damage. What? Oh Wrong my person. gosh. Oh, oh no, oh no, not like this. Gonna uh, kind of throw the lead just a little <laughs> bit there. They still have it in their favor. I mean, if Lopez keeps playing the way he was before, which I fully expect him to, you know it's not really gonna matter. They did, did not turn red even on the final hits of that, but Pai still so much damage on him. Oh is this gosh. gonna lead to the KO? Not quite. Yo, but it's close though. The side sig almost taking out Gabriel from his teammate. Recovery avoided from Pahe, but the falling side air puts him in a dangerous spot. Both of the red team members on the side. Gabriel with the weapon has to fight him up, but he eats the side air. Yo, he went for the instant ground pound too. Yeah. With Just the recovery. Still not enough, man. He wants to get this KO onto Pahe, but he picks up the recoveries in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay. Trick gonna get taken out. Stock count even. Falling side air will take out Lopez and Gabriel gonna eat a punish on his way back towards the stage. Now we are seeing kind of a little bit of slot coming out from the blue team. Even though they're playing well, we are seeing some 2v2 team slot, which uh, does not necessarily bode well for the rest of the games coming into this. Lopez is absolutely playing lights out though. I think he is definitely carrying this game on his back. Yeah, I'm expecting some big numbers from Lopez with just how much he is popping off with his blasters, with his axe, getting all these stocks. But a nice side air will finally even up the stock count. Side sig. Oh, this could be huge for the red team. Can they take out Trick Lopez immediately? Rotating to give the triage, give the reprieve as he hits his teammate. <laughs> That was Bryn finding that Sig like off stage. I was really thinking that was gonna KO. We've seen Bryn Sig's Tricks knock gone. out in orange. He still oh, no, has touched. the dodge, came up in time. Lopez was there to at least provide a little bit of relief so there wasn't too much pressure from the red team. Side air from Pahe. Oh, the double! <laughs> the close to the ground there. 800 damage from Lopez. Excuse the double accidents. You can afford it when you're dropping in on 800 bomb on game number three. But that's that's kind of the slop I was talking about. Like You can look at that game and how much they dominated the red team, that huge opening, all the damage Lopez put out. But if you saw how close it was, it was down to everybody on final stocks. One member of the blue team was in orange. One member of the red team was in the red, or sorry, one member of the blue team was in the red. That was way closer than it should have been. After the things that Lopez and Trick did early on, way closer than it should have been. Yeah, uh, when you put out 800 damage, you expect that game to be a walk off, but like, the fact that there was there was that glimmer of hope for the red team. If they had taken out Trick, there was that kind of, that small hope that they take out Trick, get that team combo to instant KO, and win out in game number three. There was that hope. But here we go. Game number four, we got the swap. Gabriel going to go over to the Nash as they decide the map. Now, did we see Gabriel play Nash earlier today? I know Pahe did. I don't think I saw Gabriel on the Nash. 
I would agree as well. I do not have that in my notes that he played Nash earlier today, but we have it here. We'll see if the signatures can save him here. We'll see if the uh, high strength and the very high movement speed can save him. You saw him immediately go over for the weapon spot on the right side. Trick was able to snag it out. GC Sig already coming out from Trick. Axe work coming out from Pahe early on. Yeah, one thing that's really nice, I'm, as, as I see this hammer down Sig more and more, one thing that's really nice about it is just it takes up so much stage. Like, it just it commands so much presence. Right side, oh, Pahe no. eats the ground <laughs> pound. Was trying to find the timing, but just able to hold the ground pound from Lopez, and that's a huge advantage to the blue team. You saw him holding that. You saw, like, where he was in the push-off yeah. column, and you just like, what are you going to do, bro? <laughs> There's nothing. Stock count, though, does get evened up as Trick did get taken out. Still doable for the red team. Not able to recognize that that was a stomp side air opportunity, unfortunately. But Lopez taking more damage than Gabriel right now. Pick up very high with the D-Light recovery. Pahe was... Oh, oh went for the bounce instead of canceling it early. Gabriel didn't expect that bounce to come out. There's the side sig, able to take that stock advantage. That is one thing that's tricky about a grounded blaster's ground pound, is like you can release it early and you'll just kind of stop on the ground, or you hold it, you'll blast the ground, and you'll bounce back up. Stock count does get evened up. Pahe's got to avoid this hit. Dancing around the blue team, but he eats the neutral light. Decent coming out from Lopez. He's able to also dodge through the punishment hit from Gabriel that ended up hitting Pahe. The team damage coming out. Decent on the stage. You can cover actually a lot of this stage with that signature because it's so small. Trick putting out some work onto Gabriel. Nice punishment on the landing with a stomp side air. Target swaps from the red team. Trick trying to hit that dare to punish the ground pound. Big ground pound attempt from Pahe. Still avoiding these hits and the stomp side air will again give the red team the slight advantage. Now even though Trick did fall there after that sort of edge guard engagement, oh, you saw Lopez backing off so that Trick could touch the wall and they both weren't on the same spot. So if an attack came through, it wouldn't knock out both of them. Yeah, really smart of them to kind of spread positions. Gabriel able to hit the GC side heavy, the switch to the Nash, doing all right so far, but this is anything but secure for the red team. Ooh, Gabriel going deep He's with crazy. this one. Really queued up that ground pound early on. Oh, Yo, that oh. just actually saved him. Yeah. Oh man, that would have been huge for the blue team. They get the KO anyway, but look at where Trick is in his health. It's not looking good for him, has to be careful. He's playing against two very high strength legends. It's between Pahe and Trick right now. Whoever falls first will unfortunately put their team very Bro. far behind. <laughs> he just turned around gravity, canceled the neutral on his teammate. Yeah. Oh man, dude, they gotta be so uh -oh. careful. Uh -oh. All right, 1v1, both Trick and Pahe going out at about the same time, and Gabriel with the health advantage. Stomp side air needs just that extra hit, and we'll be going to a game five. Gabriel's still not in the orange yet, patrolling the main stage, trying to punish as Lopez moves back down with the neutral air, playing around the weapon. He knows Lopez is so close, so he doesn't want to possibly oh. disarm himself. Gabriel knows he just needs that one hit. There it is, game five. Gonna be happening in just a little bit. 607 damage put out from Gabriel, 747 from Lopez. Like these, these are two definitely losers quarterfinals, possibly better teams, but these last two games kind of have not looked like losers quarterfinals caliber games. You're seeing that those like, like bad or good bad you're seeing those oh, okay. like massive discrepancies in damage where trick put out like a, a little over 200 you can't and that's multiple games in a row and it's sort of the same thing on the other side as well you're seeing accidents coming out multiple accidents per game you're seeing a lot of team damage coming out it's just i don't know if it's like fatigue throughout the day or maybe both of these teams just play so chaotically that Apocalypse is maybe too small of a map, so you need something bigger. Like maybe we're going towards like a Great Hall pick, maybe towards a Miami Dome pick, so these teams can sort of spread out a little bit. But as much good as we're seeing, and we're seeing a lot of good, don't get me wrong, we're also seeing like a significant amount of, I, I 
can't think of anything other than the term slop for it, where it's just like, it seems like the teams aren't focused 100% of the time. I think what what my takeaway is, which may, may differ from yours, is that like, if either of the two people who are kind of like, quote unquote, on the back end, they're effectively the support player, if they really kind of lean into that role, play further back, play a little bit safer, and just let your, your kind of big dog, the one who's going off, continue to go off and just help them so that they can continue to win the game for you, then you might see a team run away with it. But here we are in game number five, Gabriel and Pahe versus Trick and Lopez. Trick on the swap to the Val. This could be that support character. High movement speed, high defense, some quick attacking weapons that set up great for just being there for your teammate. We've seen this game start off pretty even. Gabriel and Lopez are about in the same boat. Trick is the one maybe taking uh, some of your advice and playing back a little bit, making sure he doesn't take too much damage. First KO is going to be on to Gabriel, going to put the blue team in the lead. Nice spiking dare. Tries to go for the bounce pass off the wall with the weapon toss. Didn't find that hit, but did find the GC down light into the ground pound for the KO. Nice cleanup on that one. Good tightening up from the blue team. Yeah, you're seeing Trick be the one to take the least damage so far. Sitting on that first stock, only in the orange. This is looking real good for the blue team right now. And we are seeing kind of the blue team splitting up a little bit more. We aren't seeing them quite overlapping on one another. Their follow-ups are sort of spread out a little bit more, so they're not oh, both trying to put out hitboxes at the same time. Ooh, oh, that ended up sending up just the nature of that Val signature, but still a great hit. Did put out some more damage. Yo, Gabriel, no! Gabriel down to the final stock. Yeah, that that uh, the sword side signature can be tricky. If he was a little bit further away from the wall, could have gone for the downward spike, but because it got the, uh, the wall ending, it ended up going upwards. Stock count gonna get closer, but Pahe deep red means that it's gonna be final stocks here for the red team versus the four of the blue team. Complete 180. Complete 180 for Trick and Lopez here. This is exactly what I would have wanted to see from them. Great work, completely dominating this game. Oh, 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 Picked no. it up so high. He started off in orange, the final hit was red. I don't even think he needed that final hit to be red to get the KO that high. Trick and Lopez completely cleaning everything back up. Every uh, criticism I had of the past two games completely turned that around. <laughs> I don't know if it was them listening to you criticize them so heavily or just the fact that it was game number five, but blue team deleted the red team. Red team did not get to play Brawlhalla today, and that was blue team running away with it. Again, Lopez doing the brunt of the damage, but if you look at Trick's health bar for the entirety of that, that was Trick being present, being supportive, keeping the stocks alive, playing the support character and supports don't get enough attention i gotta say you definitely nailed it when you said someone needs to play it back and let the other one go off you nailed it 100 percent look at the numbers you're seeing like oh a 330 that's not high damage but also look at the damage that trick took 269 he wasn't putting himself in bad uh positions 